Hello, welcome back to AJM Learn. Today I'm going to show you how to set up recurring payments on your Squarespace store. So first and foremost, you need to add the store. So go in, add that store page, choose how you want it to look. I'll just move quickly because you can add whatever you need um, to all these, you know, name your store, etc. Obviously it comes with all these crazy filler uh, products that we can get rid of. Okay, so go hit the plus button, go to, in this case, what I'm showing you is service. I believe you can do recurring payments on several different things, but let's let's focus on service. So service product, this is gonna pop up. Of course, add your details. So product name, you can add your description, your photo, price, etc. So whatever you need here, stock, all of that, categories. But what we're focused on is all the way at the bottom under checkout, go into subscriptions. So you have the option to offer one-time purchase um, and subscription or just subscription. The CSS really is going to apply, well, it still works for both, but kind of applies to this one, but applies really to both. Okay, so I'll stick to one-time purchase and subscription. Down here, you want to change how often it repeats. I feel like the way this is set up can get kind of confusing. Like I wanted to do it yearly and I was like, wait, okay, do every 12 months. So like for a client, I was doing yearly. So you choose every 12 months. Um, add. You can add several frequencies in here. All that's going to do is add a little bit of like a drop down, a separate drop down to it. So I'll show you, but either way. So like add frequency, let's pretend it would also be once a week and apply and save and publish. So let's check out our product. Obviously we have no photo or anything, so it doesn't look super beautiful, but it is set up now. So people can choose one-time purchase or they could subscribe and they could choose how often they want to subscribe. Of course you would do more setup here. You would change, you know, the pricing and the frequency and all of that to something that makes sense, but we're still set up. So um, cool. This is great. But the issue I had was a client of mine was using this for something that's not necessarily a subscription. So it, it really was like a service. They're buying it for a year. Um, think of like uh, an ad in a magazine or an online magazine. So basically it was kind of a, hey, you can buy this or you can set it as recurring, just knowing you're going to want to do it every month or every year. Um, and I think she was feeling like the word subscribe was really going to throw people off. So I decided to find the CSS to fix it. All right. So let me hop over into my CSS panel and what this is going to do, the CSS kind of comes in two parts. It always pastes in super weird from the post, but you get the idea. Um, the first bit here is going to hide this subscribe text. So let me just remove this and show you. So basically it just removes this text that says subscribe. And then the second part is what we're going to change it to. So I, in this case, changed it to auto renew because that made more sense for my client's use case. Um, again, the word subscription just wasn't working. Auto renew made a lot more sense for what she was selling. You can change this to anything. Just make sure to keep it inside these quotation marks. Um, this is kind of funny. It took me a second to figure this out. I was like, well, what if I want to change one-time purchase? I don't know why all these why these child numbers are reversed, but if you want to change it for one-time purchase, you actually do a two. So the two is here and the one is here. I have no clue why, um, but that's how you do it. And then you, of course, could change it to anything. You can also, you know, do both. So change this to one. And then you've changed the text to both. Of course, they would be different, but that's it. Pretty simple. Hope this is helpful.